Now, a few days ago, one of the teams sent me an opportunity here in Canvey Island. It's this, this old cinema bingo hall behind me. I wanted to look at it because on the face of it, the rent looked really good because it looked massive. It was £45,000 a year rent. I thought, yeah, it's a big old building. Must have massive parking. Let's go and have a look at it. What I saw from the pictures, it looked like something out of Stranger Things. Well, we're going to go in now and see if this is an opportunity for us. My mind's thinking, could we open a brand new Party Man World indoor play centre? We've got another nine of these so we could rinse and repeat the business model that we know that works. Let's go and have a look. Well, it is quite high. Look at them signs. I know. Very retro. Jeez. 1936. I always wanted to do this job. <laughs> all the ones. All the, no, was it? All the legs. Legs 11. Oh, yeah. All the eights. 88. Ducks, Two little ducks, 22. See, if it all goes wrong in commercial property in this next recession, you could be in here, sunshine. So, so for us, I mean, if we was interested, we would want to put an indoor play centre here. We would put the indoor play down there. Yeah. But I think it's just how much it would cost to rip everything out, sure. put it into a position that it could be a commercially profitable business. Yeah. And it's 45 grand is really for only this, isn't it? I think that's quite pricey. It's not as big as I thought it no, was going to be. Because I mean, you could easily put a couple of hundred grand just getting this sorted. Plus then 150,000 to put your play area in, some form of com uh, commercial kitchen. And then there isn't actually any parking, is there? You get two parking spaces down the side. But yeah. there's a car park over the road, yeah. which at weekends is free. Yeah, the, the, there's a challenge with Canvey Island for us is people that use Canvey Island live on Canvey Island. I mean, I know you get some people come here for a sunny day out, yeah. but for play centre, it's going to be the community of Canvey. It's not big enough for us, and I think the rent is quite high for the size. I totally agree. If it was 25 grand a year rent, you'd be boom, like, yeah, okay, we'll give it a try. But you have 45 grand a year rent, then you're going to have half of that in business rates again. So you're going to have 22 and a half in business rates. You've got no parking, say 300 grand to get it to a position that, that you can open. We've just seen it. Now, look, the building is old, it's beautiful. I like old things and I like turning around things. I thought it could be a great story, but there's a few uh-uh moments, no parking. It was actually much smaller than I thought, so actually the 45 grand a year rent is, in my opinion, way too high. And you have to factor in the business rates, the electric, and then the huge refurb costs of getting that into what we need. You'd easily blow 300, maybe even 400,000, turning that into a really good indoor play centre. And it's in a place that's called Canvey Island. Now, it's in Essex, so the whole of Essex, one and a half million people live here. But actually, you've got to get one road in and one road out. So getting people on, in and out of Canvey Island is very difficult. So it's usually only the people that are on Canvey Island that would use it. And there's quite a small population on Canvey Island to make leisure attractions work. And so, for me, I think this isn't one that's going to be for us. But hey, we're seeing lots of businesses. We're on to the next one. This is the unit that we were storing some of our stock and it also is the manufacturing plant for our bakery products. Problem is, it's all a bit disjointed. We've now got three units. We've bought a bigger unit. So what we're going to do is remove everything from here. So the bakery is moving to the ice cream factory and the 101 pallets that we're starting to load up outside here is moving over to our other big unit that we've bought. We've hired a lorry driver and he's just gone AWOL for the day. Like he'd done one drop on and he's just disappeared. So we've got to track him down and call the supplier. It's here, Matthew! Look at his little Still smile. Here at 10 o'clock as well. So we've got to try and get 16 pallets on this and do a two minute journey down the road. Matt's already on the forklift. This is going to be like an episode of Top Gear when it was good. Dear viewer, let me give you some clarity to what's going on here. I'm on a quest to save some money. Why? Well, having buildings and factories costs a lot of money. You either got to pay rent or a mortgage or buy the thing outright. But then on top of that, you've got some turnover taxes. You've got business rates, and these are a real killer. Say you've got a hundred thousand pound rent that you pay for a building. On top of that, you'll pay about fifty thousand, usually half of what your rent is, to the local council in business rates. That's a really crippling cost to a business, and I do whatever I can to avoid doing it by 
stretching my space as much as possible. Now, this warehouse is where my Rossi ice cream factory is and the distribution for party pieces and all the products that I sell to all my other businesses. So I've got this warehouse. The problem is buying cookies and cones, buying party pieces, having Rossi ice cream and seeing that huge growth in such a short space of time means I need more space. But the cookies and cones warehouse that you've just seen us unloading wasn't big enough, but it was still a high rent and business rates. And I think it was costing around a quarter of a million quid a year just to have that location once you add in security, electric, gas, and yada, yada, yada. So my plan was to get out of that building and go into a new building that we could own. Now, I say new, it wasn't exactly new, but it is something we own and we're gonna give it some love and care. Have a little look at the unloading. So this is our big unit that we've just bought. And as you can see in here, we've, we've got loads of stock in already and we're gonna fill them 110 units into this space here. We've got Simon, who's Matt's identical brother, um, who loaded up at the other side. He's here unloading. They're a funny family, they're just like forklift driving. So Simon's just gonna unload that. And then we're gonna go back to the other side. Matt's gonna reload. Simon unload, Matt reload, Simon unload. And then we'll be in this unit. Well, I know what you're thinking, gang. James is obviously a model as well, and you'd be correct, a balloon modeler in my earlier years. But we are here now in this Rossi bakery that's now integrated with the Cookies and Cones team. I'm just so proud of this achievement that the team have managed to get over the line because the efficiencies are huge. It means we're now just getting one lot of transport go out of here. We're mixing bakery products with ice cream products with a food services business, and that was separated. So we've got double the amount of transport, double the amount of management, yada 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 you get it basically we're sweating the asset that is the lesson that you're getting from this video rather than having three sites rather than having staff at multiple places what can you do in your business to sweat the asset I've been doing it for my whole career everything inside me thinks how can we save money how can we be frugal because I live by this little phrase that I'm about to tell you now be frugal on costs so you can be generous on investment and I'm always looking how can we save a pound here 10p here 3p here that's why I fly around the world sourcing products products to cut as many middlemen out as possible, drive efficiencies. And if you're an entrepreneur and business owner, you've got to keep on doing that. And if you want to find out more stuff like this, why not come to one of my seminars? I'm running a big one in London and I run them throughout the year. Tickets are only a few hundred quid and you can buy them on my website, jamessinclair.net. There's also a link in the video description. But if you're watching me internationally and you don't want to come over to the UK, check out my Entrepreneurs University. It's an online training platform that I've created which is me teaching you all the stuff I've learned over the last 20 years to grow your business, and you can try it for free. There's also a link in the video description for that. See you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe.